the Women's World, World Cup held in Australia in New Zealand. It's worth noting why there's a lot of penalty goals occurring in the World Cup so far. It's penalty that's Camacho 30. Uh, England did win their game with a penalty by the numbers in the 29th minute against Haiti. England, uh, Gamacha penalty. Australia, where the World Cup is held at, in addition to New Zealand, is also 30. And we are seeing many games uh, involving penalty kicks, either saved by the keeper or shot over the bar. Uh, Nigeria and Canada that had a penalty kick. Australia won with the 52nd minute penalty against the Republic of Ireland. Uh, as far as World Cup favorites go, completely scripted. Spain won the game 3-0. Uh, the World Cup is held in Australia. Champions can be decided at Australia. And the U.S. Women's National Team won 3 to nothing against Vietnam. So already we are seeing the narrative of where we get the U.S.-Spain World Cup final possibility. The two scores of 3 to nothing. Uh, we'll see how France does. We'll see how Germany does. But kind of rigged how New Zealand won right after the shooting at Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, that was uh, happened right after the shooting. You know, completely scripted. No doubt about it. No Gamatria coincides with the goal that was scored. Auckland, New uh, Zealand is Gamacho 172, and let's see, the goal scorer was uh, Hannah Wilkinson, or Gamacho is 172 as well. Hannah Wilkinson, Gamacho of uh, Auckland, New Zealand. So right there, uh, that's what we get uh, with this game. And then uh, what about Haiti for England? Anything significant with Haiti? Haiti, Gamacha 29, uh, they score in the 29th minute. So right there, we know the Women's World Cup is completely rigged and completely scripted by Gamatria. Vietnam did play in the World Cup at Australia. Vietnam is Gamatria 3 to nothing by the numbers. No, there was no seven nothing against Costa Rica this time, and St uh, Spain did score in the twenty third uh, twenty third minute. You know, it looked like they're about to score five or six goals, and then you know, just took the foot off the pedal in the second half. So, this is what we see so far. The match the World Cup again. My prediction is United States three p. Uh, Megan Rapino sitting off, but. Uh, you look at Spain, Real Madrid, and Barcelona. I mean, Potella was out with injury, and she's back. And then you've got uh, Gonzalez, and uh, you've got uh, uh, Jenny, the all-time leading goal scorer, Hermoso. So Spain, they're the biggest threat to Team USA for this Women's World Cup. And it looks like Argentina are going to win their first World Cup match 33 days after Messi's birthday. I like my Italia to defeat uh, Argentina. I think Messi and uh, I think uh, the Argentina women are, are going to win their match against South Africa 33 days after Messi's birthday. Argentina 3-3 three and three in the finals. So if you're curious about that, that's what I kind of see right there with Argentina. So Grandia, Azuri, Foza, Italia. And uh, we'll see if uh, the 33 works out for Argentina. If Argentina can make it to the knockout of the Women's World Cup.